Hello guys, it's me Patrick and I will teach you on how to connect the Java programming language to a database. This lesson was so called JDBC J Basics or Java Connection to Microsoft Access with Driver Manager, JDBC and ODBC. Yes guys, it's only a basic. So now what is JDBC? JDBC is a term that programmers use on the technology for connecting in any database. And the kind of database that we will use is the Microsoft Access. By the way guys, the database can also be a text file or MySQL or Oracle and so on and so forth. So the technology used by the Microsoft Access is the ODBC. It's ODBC Access. This is the connection of Microsoft Access between the outside road and also to store data in the Microsoft Access. So far, we do have JDBC for Java and ODBC for MS Access. We need to connect the two that I was mentioned recently to do our aim of connecting the Java to Microsoft Access. But we have three things to remember. Firstly, set up the Java to understand ODBC. This is pertaining to the driver, but you need to set up first the Java JDBC for you to connect to Microsoft Access. Secondly, get the connection to our Access database. By the way, there is a two way of connecting the Java to Microsoft Access, the direct and indirect. Direct is a purely Java coding. You can create an access file via Java codes, while indirect is a way something to do with the system. First, create a database and you can access it already. Guys, don't hesitate to continue watching this because later you will know all what I am saying. Lastly, run a SQL statement. As you can see, now, you can already set up J JDBC to ODBC. Also, you can have the connection to Microsoft Access. And now, you can run already an SQL statement. But guys, I have my, my advice. Before you watch this tutorial, you have already knew the SQL statement basics such as select, insert, delete, create table, and drop table. These statements are needed to do these tutorials. Now, we will do the first step which is set up Java to understand ODBC. So we need to set up the ODBC. Now, go to start bottom, then click the control panel, and click administrative tools guys. Now, select data sources. As you can see, it is ODBC. This is a pop-up called ODBC Data Source Administrator. In this tab, select System DSN. So there is a dialog box called System Data Sources. So next, click the Add button. And in this list, choose the Microsoft Access Driver. There. And hit OK or Finish. This is what we call the data source name or DSN. Just fill up the DSN and I will name it MDB test. As you can see, you can either select or create. If you choose select, you shall have an existing database file that is accessed. While if you choose create, from the word itself, create, you can create a new access file. So I will choose crea create and I will save it to C drive and from folder called Java from program files and Java folder. There guys, and I will name it database.
Then hit OK. There is a pop up in the creation. There is a pop up if the creation is successful or not. And if it's successful, hit OK. Now, guys, you have already the ODBC driver.